Governor Cuomo has decided to ban the bags, tweeting, The blight of plastic bags takes a devastating toll on our streets, our water, and our natural resources. The ban will cover single-use plastic carryout bags at any point of sale, but exempts garment bags, trash bags, and any bags used to wrap or contain certain foods, such as fruits and sliced meats. The move comes a year after the governor killed a five-cent tax on plastic bags in New York City. Brooklyn Senator Simca Felder led the opposition to that. Cuomo then insisted he wanted a statewide solution and appointed a panel to come up with a recommendation. Instead, they gave the governor eight different options. The governor decided to pick the, the most extreme solution, which is a ban on plastic bags. Cuomo may now have to face opposition from the plastic bag lobby with supermarkets and fast food restaurants who would rather use the cheaper, sturdier plastic than paper and rather not force people to buy reusables. There is a constituency of people, and it's quite a large one, who does not want nanny state government. They don't want the state or the city or the town telling them what to do. Another concern for the governor, re-election. While he was making the ban the bag announcement, his Democratic opponent, Cynthia Nixon, was once again hammering him hard from the left, today leading a rally with environmental activists. Cuomo, Cuomo, you can't hide! And in that charged political climate, the bill now heads to the Assembly and Senate, where it could become a case of, let's make a deal. There could be some back and forth. There could be some give and take between the governor and the legislature on this. Now, if passed, the ban would take effect in January of next year. Felder's office won't say where he will vote on this ban, but if the Senate managed to be wound up tied 32-32 between Republicans and Democrats after special elections, his vote could be crucial. Dana. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you.